Hello, this is Aldi. Today is Saturday, April 28, 2012. It was my birthday two days ago. This morning it was too cold to go to the flea market. I decided to just uh, try a couple of yard sales and uh, didn't find anything at the second one, but the first one I ended up buying uh, a lot of cheap keys. And I feel kind of guilty as a vinyl record collector. It's the first time I'm ashamed of my purchases. Not <laughs> You'll see, I, I feel a bit uh, ashamed. I, I bought a lot of crap. But they were advertised as being 25 cents each. It was supposed to be a thousand CDs, but turns out it was way less than that. And half of the CDs were, <laughs> you guessed it, burned copies. <laughs> so uh, I had to check everything one by one to make sure these were all original CDs. Ended up buying uh, 93 CDs. Is that right? Yeah, 93 CDs for 20 bucks. So let's go through them right now. Uh -huh. like the Archie's Sugar Sugar compilation with some strong all-time greatest hits. The best of the best of Blondie, Blood, Sweat and Tears, Blood, Sweat and Tears greatest hits. The box two record set. Actually, it's one CD that contains two albums. This will give me a chance to get more acquainted with this Canadian band uh, because the box I'm only uh, familiar with Closer Together and ordina uh, Ordinary People, I think, the other hit they had. Both from the same album, which is not... It's, it's either... Uh, it's, not, it's not on this uh, CD. So this will give me a chance to get more acquainted. The best of Eric Carmen. Uh, Cheap Trick, The Greatest Hits. Share, yeah, no, share. What the hell? What are you doing to share? But they're all there, you know. Got you, Bay, Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. I always associate this song with uh, uh, an episode of The Simpsons with this Japanese uh, businessman uh, doing karaoke to that song. <laughs> uh, Chicago's Greatest Hits. The Best of Culture, Culture Club. And it has uh, the war song. Because I, I have a friend who has a, a best of, it doesn't have the war song on it. Then uh, VH1 Storytellers, Greatest Moments, Culture Club. There's two CDs in there. Eagles. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Uh, Eagles, Hell Freezes Over. Yellow's Greatest Hits. Yeah, yet another compilation. I, can't, I didn't need this, but I felt like buying it. Foundations, Build Me Up Buttercup, uh, just cheapo, uh, no name brand uh, compilation. Four Tops, The Ultimate Collection on Motown. Samantha Fox, Greatest Hits, a little bit too many Greatest Hits and a lot for my taste, but 25 cents each, you know. Jerry and the Pacemakers, Greatest Hits. The best of the Guess Who, I think I already have it. Uh, there's some I, al I might already have. The Best of the Guess Who, Volume 2. This I don't have. Hall and Oates. Oh yeah. Can't remember if I have that one or not. This one I don't, I don't have. Hall and Oates, Change of Season. The very best of Hall and Oates. Does it have a... Yeah. Method of Modern Love. Unfortunately, yeah. It's a long version, damn it. Herman's Hermits, Greatest Hits. The Hollies Grace hits. And a two fur here. Double album with me. The greatest hits. Funny cover. A double compilation. In excess, the greatest hits. Janet Jackson. Uh, a decade. Design of a decade. Doesn't even have screen. <laughs> Tommy James and the Chandel, the best of. Billy Joel Greatest Hits Volume 3. This is a very easy to find single. I didn't have it. Plus 25 cents. Alton John, something about the way you look tonight. Candle in the Wind 1997. In loving memory of Diana, Princess of Wales. Twelve Deadly Sins by Cindy Lauper. Another album to discover for me. Time Flies, the best of Huey Lewis and the News. The Loving Spoonful on a no-name cheapo label from Germany somewhere in the city 
Wings Greatest. Not in the best of shape, but then I have this one. It's a great compilation. All of these are Madonna. Now, I couldn't figure out which ones I had and which ones I didn't. So in a, in a bit of fr frustration, I decided to just off F it. I'll take them all and then I'll sort them out and keep the best copy. And ever. I think they might all be there up to 2000 and I'm, I'm not sure. So, and I got confused because my brother had some that he lent me uh, many years ago and I gave them back to him. And I, anyway, I got confused. I couldn't figure out which ones I had and which ones I didn't. So here we have Madonna, first one. Like a Virgin. Whoops. True Blue. You Can Dance. This one I know I didn't have because I really love the intro of the long version of Into the Groove. Really, really love the, the intro to that. Uh, this I'm, I might have. Uh, the soundtrack of Dick Tracy and Breathless. Erotica. This I don't have, but it's in terrible shape. I think it's playable. It's a single, Madonna Rain, Comeback Disc Maxi Single. Has a non album track up, down, sweet. It's over 12 minutes long. So I, uh, I like singles for that, they have bonus tracks. This is Bedtime Stories. Another single one, Secret. I have the vinyl 12 inch single of this. It has like six versions of, uh, of uh, Secret, of course. Something to remember. Nah, I'm pretty sure I have that one. The double CD soundtrack of Evita. But I'm not going to put it with the soundtracks, I'm going to keep it with uh, Madonna. In the beginning, Madonna. It's already material with the explanation. Ray of Light and uh, Music. I wonder if it's complete, a complete set. Then we have George Martin in My Life. Not in perfect shape, but playable. I'm very curious to give it a listen. I don't know why I bought this. I went off. I know they, there's a Beatles song on it, and I didn't know if I had it or not. Anne Murray's Greatest Hits with You Won't See Me on it. A compilation of Olivia Newton John, 17 hits. And what's interesting, it seems to be going backwards in time instead of forward, so that's fun. Find that original. This is, uh, I almost didn't buy this, but the OJ Super Hits. It's not Super Hits at all. The only hit on it is uh, I Love Music. It's supposed to be a best of, it doesn't have for the love of money on it. What the hell? So, uh, but it, it has the long version of I Love Music. But it's for 25 cents or even less, I'm going to get a chance to, to uh, enjoy more OJs anyway. There, were, there, there was a uh, pulse, but it was uh, all scratched up. But I, the other, the only other Pink Floyd was uh, the Division Bell, which I don't have, so that's nice. And surprise, surprise, no scratches. So I was glad. The, uh, all, all the other Pink Floyd they had were copies. The best of Pro, Pro Call Harem. I know I have a bad copy on vinyl of this, but I don't know if I have the CD or not. Tommy Rowe, Grace Hits, Cheapo compilation, another Ger German. Compilation, 10 tracks. Uh, best of Shadi. Well, Simon Graceland. Not sure if I had it or not. I know I have the vinyl. I'm not sure if I had the CD. Now I think about it, I'm 90% sure I already have this. Damn it. The best of Spinners. Sorry for Brought Stewart the Ballad album. Another. Why the. What came over me? <laughs> I don't know. I had to move fast, you know, I, I had to go to this other yard sale, so sometimes you have to, to take some split decision thing. Sting, uh, The Dream of the Blue Turtles. Sting, 10... What the heck? 10 Summoner's Tales. Sting, Brand New Day. The Best of Sweet. Why did I buy it? I already have a Desolation Street, which is a compilation. So hopefully I'll find some good songs on this thing. Because I'm only I'm only familiar with Fox on the Run a little bit and Ballroom Blitz, which is a, a wonderful uh, childhood memory for me. Uh, the Temptations, the Ultimate Collection on Motown. 
want to make it big. I think I don't have it. Tommy the Who definitely did not have this. Found the vinyl, I think, only last year. And Paul Young from time to time, the singles collection. And I forgot I was supposed to start with the French stuff. Because it's more boring for you than the English stuff. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Soundtrack, I have Fruit, Fruit Loose, which I like to call Fruit Loops. <laughs> like the cereal. Grease, because I know I have it. I could not remember if my copy was scratched up or not, because I kn now that I think about it, I think it's Saturday Night Fever that's scratched up. I it's in this thing there. I have to move all this crap to, 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 to take a look. Anyway, now I have it in good shape, so I don't have to worry. The Blues Volume 1, 112, a dozen Howling Wolf, uh, Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker. Oh, I took it for fun. I don't know if I have this volume or not. It gets confusing after a while. They made so many of them. Television's greatest hits, 70s and 80s. 65 TV teams. So, uh, oh, a trivia booklet. That could be interesting. Let's say for the novelty. Xmas, the Beatles, the, the Beatmas, the Beatles, <laughs> rubber pen. So yeah, just for the novelty. I'm I'm hoping it's Christmas songs played in the Beatles style. And this is just a crappy little compilation because uh, I don't know, it has 18 songs on it, and it's kind of convenient to have these for for the car. Not that I need more CDs for the car, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm always like, ah, should I take it or not? And I should I should stop buying these compilations. Then I got these these French ones. Sorry, I'm going to switch switch to French. Si j'ai Daniel Bélanger quatre saisons dans le désordre, malheureusement, je pense que j'avais déjà, mais j'arrivais pas. J'étais pas sûr. Fait que j'ai pas pris de chance, je l'ai pris. J'ai des Céline Dion aussi. I took some Céline Dion. I left a whole bunch more there, and uh, I I put them with my French records because she she's bilingual. She did records in French and in English, and I I have more French vinyl. So I tend to put in the all on all with my French artists. This is probably my most interesting CD. It's my CD préféré parce que il est plus dur à trouver sur les chansons en or. C'est tous ses premiers succès. Ce n'était qu'un rêve la voix du bon Dieu, euh, d'amour, d'amitié, euh, une colombe, sa période kitsch. Incognito. Je sais pas pourquoi j'ai pris ça. Je t'assure, je l'avais laissé là-bas. Puis apparemment, je me suis trompé. Je l'ai pris parce que je pense que je l'ai. Je pense que je l'ai déjà vu. Je sais que je l'ai pas. Céline Dion à l'Olympia. This one is a, a single, two tracks. Uh, it's all coming back to me now and the power of the dream. This is another single in a, a single uh, case, proper case. Because you love me plus thing twice and two previously unreleased tracks. Si j'ai Mario Pelcha, il n'y a pas de moi, là, je sais, c'est Mario Pelcha. Mais c'est pas j'aime beaucoup la chanson ailleurs. Et ailleurs, il est là-dessus, puis j'espère que c'est la version originale, c'est pas des réenregistrements. Là. Mais j'aime bien la chanson. Euh, J'ai le son des années 80-90, mais j'adore la, la, la chanson en tant que telle. Refaite des années 70, ça serait cœur. Hein. C'est une compilation double de rock voisine, euh, Europe Tour. J'ai pris pour le fun à cause de la légende de Uchi Geas, qui me rappelle des souvenirs, ça jouait à radio en masse. La légende de Jimmy que j'arrivais pas. Ah, je pense que je l'ai déjà. Car, il y a une star que je, je pense. Je n'arrivais pas à me, à me rappeler si je l'avais en CD ou pas. J'ai 45 tours avec pochette. C'est ça qui m'a mélangé. Je pense que je l'ai en vinyle. Puis finalement, ben, je pense que je l'ai CD. Je le classe avec euh, les disques de Zianten. En réalité, il y a une annette là-dessus aussi. Euh, le premier, Starmania. Euh, je pense que c'est le premier. Oui, Daniel Balavoine, Claude Dubois, France Gall. Oui, c'est le premier, premier, ça. Là. Il y a plusieurs versions de Star Menu. Là, j'étais content, malheureusement, il est, il est méga ça n'a pas de bon sens. Le petit cul que je vois avec, le disque est sale, puis le, le, les vrais, il est tout fripé. Mais c'est des bleus poudres, avec la chanson de Yasser Arafat que j'ai en 45 tours vinyle. Arafat et la nappe magique. Puis, euh, je sais, j'ai la cassette. Je pense pas que ce soit sorti en. en long jeu. Non, non, je pense que c'est 91. Puis, j'ai trouvé un Rockabelle des oreilles que j'avais pas. Je crois que je l'ai pas, en tout cas. Non, je pense que je l'ai pas. Puis, c'est l'anthologie du plaisir. Avec gros les jambes, puis arrête de boire dessus. Avec gros méchant lui aussi. And I had this box plus a bunch I I've taken out that I wasn't sure I wanted. And because it came to 87 CDs and at 25 cents each, 
it's barely a little bit more than 20 bucks and I didn't want to start haggle to pay 17 or 18 so that I'll F it I'll put these back in the box and offer 20 bucks and that will be the end of it because I was in a hurry and uh, these are the six that I initially removed from the box but I threw back in at the last minute cheapo compilation of the drifters greatest hits with only 10 songs again on this oh this one is from Holland no name brand the grassroots greatest hits Bill Haley greatest hits don't even know if they're live versions or the original ones I didn't have time to yeah we recorded so this is like garbage it's not even original the compilation there's only 12 songs a very very short CD <laughs> with Sandy Nelson and Johnny and the Hurricanes and Markets with Batman team like, these are worthless you can't get this stuff on mp3 so easily on the internet and, and rather have these songs on vinyl and another one of these compilations the 60s generation there's only 10 songs oh my god no wonder I took them out <laughs> radio, cla radio classics of the 50s and there's 14 songs at least this one is on CBS records but it's all ugh. Rosemary Cloney, Hey There, Rags to Riches, Mark T. Robbins, oh my god, yuck. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's still 25 cents each. And, I'm and then uh, the guy had stuff in the basement, and I went, and um, nothing for me. And then I came back out, and I saw bo bo boxes of books, and I found two books. Si j'ai un Tintin, le seul Tintin qui me manquait. Puis, uh, comme vous pouvez voir, le site de couverture est tout scratché. Mais l'intérieur est correct. Donc, euh, dans le sens, ça m'a aidé à faire baisser le prix. Euh, Puis ici, j'ai uh, found this nice little pocket book of The Complete Guide to the Music of the Rolling Stones. This is probably my favorite purchase of the day. My last find, but my favorite one. And it describes all the singles up to... What year was this book made? 1994, I think. Some, somewhere in the 1990s, anyway. And it... it, it, it it explains all the albums, all the singles, the EPs, and it's very interesting. Especially for me that I'm not that familiar with uh, the the Stones yet. I'm still discovering them. I'm, I'm still not. I don't know all the records by heart. I'm still. I guess I'm waiting to find enough of their vinyl records to to really sit down and really take the time to enjoy them. I have a stack of CDs, not all of them. I have only a handful of albums, not enough of them. Uh, a little stack of 45s, many scratched, and uh, yeah, so yeah, that was my day, and I feel dirty for bringing back all these CDs, <laughs> I mostly, especially a big contrast, if you see this, this is the box they came in, this box was full, especially since I got uh, so many 78s uh, recently, from one end to uh, one extreme to the other, thanks for watching.